Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 and 1 Peter 2 verse 24. Jesus' role in our spiritual healing. Within the pages of Scripture, the seamless thread of prophecy and fulfillment weaves a tapestry of divine purpose and redemption. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 and 1 Peter 2 verse 24 are two threads that intertwine, illuminating the profound role of Jesus in our spiritual healing. This essay embarks on a journey through these verses, exploring their harmonious narrative and the timeless teachings they convey. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 The Prophetic Promise In the prophetic verses of Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5, a promise of spiritual healing emerges. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. These words in Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 paint a picture of the Messiah's sacrificial role in bearing the weight of our sins and providing healing through his wounds. The prophecy foreshadows a transformative act of redemption. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 Healing through Christ's Sacrifice Transition to the New Testament, where the book of 1 Peter unveils the fulfillment in 1 Peter 2 verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. In these verses, the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy becomes palpable as the Apostle Peter echoes the concept of healing through Christ's wounds. The convergence of prophecy and reality underscores Jesus' redemptive work in our lives. Jesus' role in our spiritual healing prophecy and fulfillment united. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 and 1 Peter 2 verse 24 weave a narrative that bridges prophecy and fulfillment, encapsulating the profound role of Jesus in our spiritual healing. Timeless Teachings and Daily Relevance Substitutionary Atonement Jesus' role as the bearer of our sins emphasizes his substitutionary sacrifice. We're called to embrace the depth of his sacrifice for our redemption. Bearer of Pain and Suffering Jesus' willingness to bear our pain and suffering speaks of his love and compassion. We're reminded of his empathy in our times of trial. Transformation Through His Wounds the concept of healing through Christ's wounds teaches us that our spiritual wholeness is a result of his sacrifice. We're prompted to find healing and restoration in him. Dying to sin, living for righteousness, Peter's words highlight the transformative journey of dying to sin and embracing righteousness through Christ's sacrifice. We're called to live out this transformation daily. Personalizing Redemption the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy becomes personal through our individual acceptance of Christ's sacrifice. We're invited to claim the healing and redemption he offers. In conclusion, Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 and 1 Peter 2 verse 24 stand as an intertwined portrayal of Jesus' role in our spiritual healing, bridging prophecy and fulfillment. Through these verses, we gain insights into substitutionary atonement, empathy and suffering, transformation through his wounds, the journey of righteousness, and the personal nature of redemption. As we navigate life's challenges, may these verses guide us to embrace the transformative power of Jesus' sacrifice, finding healing, redemption, and renewed purpose in him.